Team Rocket strikes again. Troglodytes and scalpers. Two words that are pretty much synonymous with one another. They go hand in hand, they walk down shoulder to shoulder. Scalpers are just the equivalent of those trolls you see in fairy tales, just camping around a bridge waiting for you to come pay the toll so you could cross. They're at the bottom of the barrel when it comes to human society. They don't contribute much. They are just there to cause <sighs> hatred and anger and prey upon human desperation. They're leeches in a sense. And if you really want an example, say that a certain convention or event or McDonald's starts giving out a limited edition toy or a poster and you think oh that's cool i'll just pop in pay two three dollars for a happy meal get a uh, limited edition toy of say sonic the hedgehog and be on my way but when you get there there's like 20 30 40 people in line and each one is buying a hundred of a happy meal and you think to yourself there's no way humanly possible this person's gonna actually eat all this right and you're right they're not. They're just here for that limited edition product. Nothing more, nothing less. So they could take that product, go back, put it on eBay, and sell it three times its price. Because that's the world we're living in today where this happens. So let me set the picture for you. There's a museum in Amsterdam that announced a day or two ago that they were partnering up with the Pokemon company to have an event that would inspire children to be more interested in art and through doing an easter egg hunt they could get this pikachu van gogh promo card but instead they got a bunch of 20 30 40 year olds coming to body slam their gift store and loot them dry like some sort of barbarians coming to pillage a village so this is how it went down and i just want to remind you this is intended for children. This product, the target demographic, is for children. Do any of these look like children except in the mental capacity wise? Like seeing these kind of headlines is, oh boy, it, it, it's just, it, this is where we are. This is where we are as a species and I am, can't say I'm surprised, but it, it's amazing how my low expectations still were too high of what humanity is. And then to see this, this abomination, to come here, see on eBay, all of these cards at these marked up prices. Like, what possesses a person to do this? The, to take a product that probably would have cost you like 10, 15 bucks entry into the museum, get the promo card free, and to see this. This being charged at like 338, whatever, and you then see this. This makes it even more abysmal that it is selling. That's what motivates these scalpers to keep doing this. It is selling. It's not the average person like me and you buying it. It's rich people who could throw $300 because to them, this is chump change. It's like me finding two bucks at the laundromat it, it really is nothing to them. They could just throw it and essentially this product is being gatekeeped by all these scalpers. Only rich people can actually do and buy these products. They can get the consoles, they could get all of this from scalpers. Me and you, the average Joes, they ain't getting squat. It's not gonna happen. Like seeing the events that they listed off that you could the children were gonna have like a little learning material to see the connections between van gogh and japan a guided video activity how to draw pikachu and being a child after doing the tour you want to go to the gift store and you know buy a plushie or a poster or something to remember the moment instead you see adults reenacting a shark feeding frenzy and you are basically scarred for life at that point because the only thing you're going going home with is just disappointment and a loss of faith in humanity. What's even sadder is that we did get an update from Nintendo, not Nintendo, Game Freak, not Game Freak, the Pokemon coming, I don't know. The, the Pokemon IP is just ping pong between all these three. It, it sometimes get jumbled up. But here, in this case, is the Pokemon company saying that, yeah, um, due to overwhelming demand, uh, they're trying to reprint the car, trying to get it going again, but at this time, they're sold out. And 
it's just sad that a company, the Pokemon company, which should be as big as Disney and Microsoft, can't really do anything here. Like, if you were to implement some sort of policy, it would be set one per customer. That wasn't there. You had people just buying it up in bulk, getting as much as their grubby little hands can grab. But if you try to get it online, well, there's a different issue there. Because online, these scalpers have bots that the moment you refresh to see the product come up, the scalper goes Skynet and just robs it all from you. By the time you put in your credit card information, the bots have bought it a thousand times over. There's no competing here. You are not winning in this competition. Instead, you get to watch single celled amiibos like this go on social media and brag while they're singing the Pokemon theme song about how many of these cards they've stockpiled. And what's the first comment? Oh, yeah, be quicker. Who is it? An NFT bro. Of course it is, because at the end of the day, it's a scam. All of this is just preying on people's desperation. Scamming, crypto bro, NFT bros, that's who's in the scalping business. Complete loser degenerates that prey on people's desperations. They're not gonna do anything with this. They're just gonna stockpile the products around their house like decoration pieces, and I hope that it goes under because that's where it usually goes when it comes to the scalping business. It never goes the way they plan. For example, the PlayStation 5. When it came to the PlayStation 5, these morons came and bought all of this in mass and they stockpiled it and tried to sell it a thousand dollars, 1,500, whatever. But the common person, for them, 500 is already tough enough, let alone a thousand. People aren't that desperate for a PS5, okay? There's other means of entertainment. And because of that, Sony lost out on a lot of profit because all the profits they were getting were from these scalpers who were keeping the boxes with themselves. That's not what Sony wants. They want you to buy the console so you be motivated to buy games. That's what the whole point of the business. So them getting all this happening, they realized we need to make more PS5s and that's what they did. And in doing so, these scalpers lost their profit because at the end of the day, that's what's gonna happen. None of you scalpers are gonna make business off of this. Only a fraction one tenth might make a profit sure you might get lucky but at the end of the day all you're getting is a bunch of glorified decoration pieces bruh i invested in all these jordan ones that retail bruh and look bruh look how much down they are bruh look they're at like 160 bucks bruh i'm sick i just lost like 20,000, bruh i'm so upset bruh bro that's bra. that's bra. what you bra deserve bra like you what did you think was gonna happen you you think anyone that logan paul is gonna drop by and buy everything from you that's not where this goes the only way this goes is you looking like an idiot and having all these products in your house just being surrounded by it so go ahead build your little empire of scalping make it as tall as you want because one day it's gonna collapse on you you're not gonna make a good result from this path you're going on bud and the worst thing is reading some of these experiences from normal people trying to enjoy the event is that when they tried to get in it was a struggle already because you had scalpers fishing out people with entry tickets so they could go up to them harass them and say hey uh, i'll pay you 50 euros which is like 50 bucks for your ticket no you're here because you want the event right so you had to brush through all that just to get in enjoy the event with other pokemon fans like-minded what have you go through the easter eggs enjoy your time connect and let's say you wanted a plushie or a t-shirt you go to the gift store nothing nothing but the dust of what there was you are not getting anything because it sold out in the first day in the first few hours even if you came later after that there was nothing but the worst part is even if you did somehow get the promo card you then had to deal with walking outside and dealing with the scalpers waiting there 
And the worst thing is there are some people saying that the scalpers would physically put the cash in their hands, 50 euros, what have you, take the card, trying to take the card and saying, oh, the transaction happened. It's my card now. There was no transaction. You single sell amoeba. You do not understand with your M&M sized brain that that was not a transaction. You're robbing them at that point. Okay. So all in all, the whole experience of trying to go to an art museum is ruined by a bunch of <sighs> half-baked idiots who wanted to sell a card. Seriously, if you are a scalper watching this, you need to take a step back, unlodge your head from your rear end, wipe the fecal matter from your face, take a good look and realize <laughs> that you are buying this product in mass bulk from children's who are the target demographic. You are robbing them of an experience. I know that means little to you because your moral compass, you sold that as well a long time ago, but you need to realize you were a burden on society. And frankly, you're a burden on yourself because this ain't gonna go anywhere. You're not gonna make a profit out of this. Very few scalpers do. Y you think you're gonna but it's not gonna happen that way in most cases it's a flop for all these scalpers because most likely nintendo or not nintendo pokemon company is gonna mass produce these pokemon cards and drive the prices down eventually at the end of the day pokemon go was ruined by scalpers and that's a common fact it just comes built in with them it's a package deal a two for one deal even that scalpers just ruin everything they touch and it's also mind-boggling that a woman can carry this for nine months and this person grows up to be a scalper it really feels like a real life team rocket scheme that they just buy all this mass product sell it for a high price i guess we're just waiting for some 10 year old with a raged up pit bull to stop the scalper organization because that's the only way i i uh, i'm just it really is a seething thing you know to see like the whole intention was to get kids into art through pokemon but instead you got all these tom dick and harry's duking it out for an eevee or a pikachu card where where did your life spiral down that this is where you are traveling to amsterdam to try and get these cards yeah that that's all there is it's it's a disappointment is what it is but i I, 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 the only advice I would say is don't give them power. Scalpers, they, they aim for that desperation. Don't give them that power. You want this card, wait for the hype to die down. Wait for any hype to die down for any product. That's the best thing you could do. When it comes to concerts and stuff, yeah, it sucks. That's an event. You, you can't really get the event again. You missed out. But you need to remind yourself, this is all materialistic. It's all materialistic gains. There are an infinite amount of other hobbies you could pursue, other things you could do to have fun. It sucks, but then again, that's what humanity is. There's gonna be bad people who ruin things. And yes, you're bad people, scalpers, if you're watching, because that's how it is. It's not illegal, sure, but you're a walking piece of human trash that has gained sentience. That's the best way I could describe you. There's no other way that can be um, nice to word that. So yeah, don't give them power. Go about your day. It's all just materialistic. These guys are not here to pay their bills. They're just to line their pockets. You think those two are synonymous? They're not. These people are just following whatever desires crooked desires they got and these children that were there to learn about art instead learned about human greed great just great that's all there is